Denise Butchko here at Doug Mockett and Company with Doug Mockett. Doug, you have been doing a design competition for a couple of decades now, and I'm curious about how you came to that and what it involves in terms of what if I'm out in the Midwest and I have some great idea? Well, that's exactly how uh, we came uh, upon doing it, Denise, is that we were getting phone calls from people in small towns and uh, saying, hey, have you ever thought of making such and such? No, we haven't thought about that. Somebody else. You ever thought of making this? No, we haven't thought of that. And it occurred to me that there are many people out there with really good ideas, but no forum, mm -hmm. no way to get them out, no way to get them manufactured, no way to maybe turn a little profit on them. Yeah. So we started a design competition in 1984, 85, been going strongly ever since. And we, we, we look forward to forward to good designs from anybody. We get really good ones from students, we get them from professional industrial designers, we get them from people who work for furniture manufacturers who have an idea that the furniture maker is interested in. We get them from all over the world, from all over. And some of the international entries are really interesting because they have unique solutions. And you go, wow, that's really neat. It's fabulous. So when somebody wants to enter the competition, do they have to make a prototype? Can they send you drawings? What does that look like? Well, you uh, basically what we need to do is, is know what the idea is. And we've had great, uh, basically you can send in a drawing or you can send in a written explanation or you can send in a model or you can send it to us email. And it works out fine. We're glad to have it. The, the deadline is Tuesday after Labor Day every year. The judges meet in December. Indust professional industrial designers and ourselves. We go through the entries, which I think last year we had about 150 from all over the world. And um, we, we select the winners right then and there. And uh, it, it's a fascinating process. It's, uh, it's like uh, it's Christmas here the day we open all the entries. It's absolutely fabulous. And then what's the Christmas or the candy for the winner? The winner uh, gets recognition through our contest, of course, and our publicity. He also gets a he or she also yes. gets a thousand dollars in cash, an engraved trophy. Lately, we've been engraving Nambe bulbs, uh, and a royalty, five percent royalty on his sales, his or her sales of the product for the next fifteen years. So, some people it's worked out very, very well for. Other people it's worked out fine for. Other products. The great designs, we thought, but they just haven't found a, a voice in the marketplace. But you're still giving them a voice, which I love. So kudos to you. Great job. Well, thank you very much. It's been fun. It's just great fun. And isn't that the name of the game? Yeah, it really is. Yeah. And you have to enjoy it, and we enjoy it. And, uh, we have uh, these tables in back of us uh, with uh, many of our design contest winning products. We have one to four over the years. We've been doing it 26 some odd years. I bet we have 75 products that have, that have come through the design competition. And they're all good. That's they're awesome. Love them. Awesome. So if you're out there and you think you have an idea and you want to see it come to life, submit your uh, entry to the design competition for Doug Mockett and Company. And my experience with the products here has been that they really provide solutions for me in a variety of scenarios. Some just pure beauty and a lot of times very functional. And what uh, Doug and I were talking about that we, we want to elaborate a little further on, I want to ask you about is you find that you provide a solution and yet then sometimes something else evolves further from that. that people have more need. So tell me some more about that, Doug. Well, let me give you a few examples. When we started this business 30 some odd years ago, it was with wire access grommets. They line the hole in the desk where the phone cord goes through. Mm -hmm. Six, eight months later, some guy calls and he says, I've got all these wires pooling on the floor. What do I do with them? I need to organize them. So I thought, all right, well, okay. And that uh, uh, became our first wire manager. Extruded plastic channels that you can, for example, glue on the wall uh, or screw to a wall, and put the wires inside, and now they're neat and out of sight. So now we have, gosh, I don't know, maybe 35, 40 different wire managers of all varieties. A year or so later, 
a guy calls and he says, I'm looking for a table leg, good quality table leg. And I thought, table leg? There's a million table legs. So I called a guy I know who was doing a little metal fabrication for us. And I said, Steve, I need a good quality table leg. He said, well, you, Doug, you got to start with cold rolled steel. Cold rolled steel? All right. He made a table leg. And uh, I'd been in a pre previous business, had some exposure to plating, so I knew how to get it plated well. We made up a sample. I sent it to this guy who wanted a good quality table leg, and he loved it. And uh, so now we have 75 large legs, perhaps, big ones, and maybe 30 or 50 little legs for credentials and stuff. But one thing leads to another, and it's amazing how it grows. Keep an open mind, listen to your customers, fulfill their needs, and here we are 33 years later. <laughs> I love it. That's a great story. One of the things, Denise, that we really enjoy at Doug Market and Company, we're always designing and we're always developing new products. Always. I mean, at any one time, we have 20 to 50 new products in development drawer pulls, power grommets, table legs, wire management, and all sorts of strange things that nobody's even ever conceived of uh, until we, we came up with the idea. Whether they'll sell or not, we don't know. But that's not our decision to make, that's the market's decision to make whether they accept it. But our goal is to just design and put out to the, uh, our, our good friends in the furniture industry, woodworking industry, architects and designers, new products and uh, hope they like them and uh, often they do and they offer suggestions to make it even better. Uh, Denise, one other thing that really uh, strikes me is in the furniture components business, our goal is to design fabulous parts, well-made, that looks stunning, but not so stunning as to take over from your furniture. We want, for example, a drawer pull to make your furniture look great. We want a wire management grommet to kind of fit in so you really don't see it. You see the furniture. Design, quality are our goals in uh, making uh, our components fit into your overall design. And it, it's, uh, it's really, it's a difficult challenge, but a whole lot of fun. Doug, you have a really international product base, and I wonder if you could just tell me some more about that. Well, Denise, the bulk of our products are manufactured here in, in uh, the Los Angeles area, where our headquarters are, and we distribute uh, quite a few from overseas, uh, some fabulous drawer pulls that are made in uh, England, some uh, fabulous Scandinavian design, very modern ones that come from Denmark, uh, casters and some other parts of fabulous Italian design as well as some other Italian fabulous designs which you know Italy is kind of the headquarters of design Absolutely. and some uh, German and Austrian uh, components that are they're really nice in addition we distribute parts from uh, that are made here in the United States they're not made by us they're made in all over the United States by some other suppliers but the world is shrinking and where it used to be a big place, now it's very small. And so it's more global. Globalization is taking place. And we, I think it's very funny, we have a, a guy who buys from us in England, one of our clients. We buy parts from Italy. They come here and they go back to England. Huh? <laughs> Which Excellent. I think is pretty funny. Yeah. So FedEx does quite well on that order. Obviously, yeah. But I think it's important that uh, we, we recognize that uh, globalization is here. There have been some disappointments among people in manufacturing parts overseas, and more and more is coming back here to the United States, not only in our industry, but in every industry, uh, where the costs, the, the cost benefit ratio wasn't there, the quality wasn't there, mm -hmm. the lead time wasn't there and it be, there were cultural issues. So we say, forget it, we'll do most 99% of it here in the United States. Wow, fascinating. Yeah, we're very proud of it. 
And, and Denise, there's another thing I'd like to add, and that is the pricing structure here at Doug Market & Company. We have what we call transparent pricing. The pricing is printed in our catalog, the pricing is on our website, and that is the price. Unfortunately, we understand there are other people whose prices vary to suit the situation. We've heard from uh, customers that called us and said, oh gosh, I called uh, some guy and the price was uh, given to me over the phone and then I called to place the order several weeks later and the price had gone up a lot. With you guys, the price is on your website, it's there in the catalog and that's the price for everybody to see. It's what we call transparent pricing. Customer service is crucial in today's business environment. What's the customer service philosophy at, at your company? I'm pleased to say that we began with the, our customer service policy and it hasn't changed. And that is, we're here to help you. And uh, when you call, a real person answers the phone. There's no voicemail. When you call, your order about 95% of the time goes out the same day. We have no minimum order, except one. You gotta order one, you can't order fewer than one. Okay. And if you're not pleased with it, we have a no restocking policy uh, on, on, on a return. So we're here to make your buying as easy and as painless as possible. From the minute you call, a real person answers the phone. There's none of this, your call is important to us and you wait for 20 minutes, forget it. So we're, we're, we're very pleased with that. We've tried, to be, we, we've tried ever since day one to be uh, responsive to our customers. It seems to have paid off quite well. We're, we get accolades all the time from our customers and we're, we're, we're very proud of that because every customer, no matter how big the order or how small the order, it's very important. I love it. And it's obviously served you well. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.